Right yo, welcome back to Scarvig in the Atlas and I've decided to breed bears. Now, I've been out collecting and I've already been doing a lot of breeding uh, just to get the main stats that I'm interested in onto these two creatures. And I thought I'd try a different method for doing... Yeah, you can't actually pick them up again. They're, they're not as expensive I guess to make. Um, just <laughs> penning these guys in with some signposts. That seems to be working. Uh, you the female? No, you're the female over there. Alright, so you're going to spit the baby out into the water probably. We'll find out. But yes, um, basically uh, the male. Can we have a look? This one has 774 health. And this one has 189 melee. And so I'm going to try and blend the two of these until we get a male and a female with both of those stats. Uh, I seem to recall the last time I did this, the stats and the babies seem to be somewhat randomised and I'm going to find out if that's still the case. Because if it is, it's not really going to matter what I do. I probably just need to breed as many bears as possible, as opposed to looking to breed the best possible pair. I don't know yet. That's all a little bit of experimentation. Well, I got lucky after... Five attempts. But here we have this little guy here. He's got the 774 health and the 189% melee. Which is uh, fantastic. Uh, what are you as well? You're a male. So in the end, now I will get rid of this male. Take it over with all the, the spares. And put that one in its place. Then we'll start breeding them up. And see if we can get a female uh, with the stats as well. So basically I guess I'll be looking for a female with level 69 and I guess anything better than 69 means that they've got even... it really depends. 6900378. But this one's got better food anyway. 1140 and then 5000 so it's got better torpor. Stamina is 1050. So this is already the best it can possibly get. So I'm looking for a female with level 69. Alright, I'll have to get them swapped around. Okay, well, I got sick of it and I went and had a look. And there is a mod for the game called Atlas Hitching Post. There's also someone that's doing a little bit of something like the S Plus mod. Um, with transfer guns and all these other things. Uh, and it will be interesting to see how that one plays out. I'll muck around with that one later. But seriously, this wandering crap is just annoying. So, do that. Uh, saddle on this one. Done. And now, let's test it out. Enable wandering. Enable wandering. Ah, oh, beautiful. It's just going to make breeding so much more nice. So, we're looking for a female level 69. I'll probably take any other ones that are actually level 69, any males, and uh, imprint them. Well, I got the female. It got the, the right health and the right melee, but it's missing the other stats. Uh, depending on how fast that one grows up, because my settings are actually stupidly quick and that's got two minutes um, we may end up swapping them in and we'll just slowly breed out the bad stats it'll get there okay that is definitely it uh, disable wandering on the little guy get it out yeah Behaviour, disable wandering. There we go. So I actually managed to get the second bear in there, but uh, totally unnecessary. So I'm going to wait for the perfect one to raise itself up. We change the name. Perfect female bear. Done. Well, the breeding is done, and it just looks crazy. I've now got 20 bears. Anyway, that part of the process is done. 
Uh, the next part of this process is they need some levels. They've already got some levels just sitting here, but it's not many. So I'm probably going to have to take them all out and just let them go crazy killing stuff left, right and centre. Uh, I'm not exactly certain what to do yet. I might go and do like a, a low level treasure or two and see if um, killing some armies of the damned will give them some decent XP and I can get some loot at the same time. It's probably the best way to do it. You got three levels. Yeah. Anyway, after imprinting, they ended up with almost a thousand health and 226 mil? 227 mil? It's not too bad. I actually don't know what's good or bad at this level, but um, this is the best that I've actually found, and now I have an army, which is really good. Now, uh, in terms of all the other stuff that I have, that was the 14.2, 16, 19, uh, no, that's a 20 there as well. So how far away is that? J1. J1, that's actually not too bad, actually. Because I can skip across from A over to K and then sail upwards. So I could probably do that. I could even go for a diagonal run and that will probably get me there not too bad. But that is the hardest treasure that I have. Is a 20. H2, that's still far away. They're both J1, that's also J1. So all the hard treasures are on J1. That is interesting. Maybe I should go up into that corner and search for treasure maps. See if I can get a legendary one. Alright, well, these guys need levels. And then we will be uh, off to try and see if they can handle a stupidly strong treasure. I might just do um, escalating treasures. We'll go and do a, a fine treasure. We'll go and do a journeyman treasure. And then see if I can I'll probably even do different levels of journeyman treasures. And then see if I can find something even harder. Alright, time to get moving. Okay, we are over on J1. I haven't actually landed yet, but it's uh, a fine treasure. Oh, I'm just going to struggle. Oh, it's on my bar. I might go and put those other treasure maps away. So we've got a treasure for a journeyman on J2. It's on a different island, but this particular one is a fine treasure. Quality 10. Or oh, I like to think of that more as a difficulty, but that's fine. I'm going to put away the other maps just in case I'm holding another one that will trigger something that I don't want. This is uh, stupidly messy. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> so many bears they can't even get in. How's that for slaughter? Alright. Did I bring it? Yes, I did. Very good. I guess this is the spot. treasure. I still don't know why the chest doesn't open for me. I've seen it open for other people. Let's have a look. Uh, all one's clear. There we go. Tons and tons of money. Alright. We got some legendary stuff. Mm, very nice. It's cloth. Cloth? Really? Okay. Uh, hopefully there's some hide stuff in there. Yes. It's all five times stuff, so I mean, there's going to be fun to try and fill out. Um, I've got most of that. Oh, we've got a couple of nice... It's a small shipyard. Well, they handled that quite comfortably. It's just going to be a pain to get them back on the ship now. Um, next will be... Uh, let's have a look at my inventory. So we have a 16.3 treasure. Which will be the next one. Uh, and followed up, we'll head over to J1 and we'll do my hardest one, which is a 20 treasure. Alright, see if we can get these guys back on the boat. <laughs> it's a mountain of bears. And the mountain keeps getting bigger. <laughs> oh, how do I get out? 
there any in the water? Looks like they're all on. Well, we are about to do the journeyman treasure, but it's probably worth noting uh, that here in J2, let's have a look at it on the atlas, this particular island has quite a, it's actually quite a nice island. Um, just in that little gap over there, there's a, a lake, a little raised section of lake. Uh, basically, you've got fresh water, but the fresh water is stupidly close to the shore, which would mean that it would take nothing to get your pipe set up so that you can uh, get your farming and all that kind of stuff set up. And fresh water is just wonderful to have, and this island its not only abundant with it, it's really close to the shore, which is just wonderful. That will do. This is just going to be chaos when they start fighting. There's a fair amount of damage going out there, even on their part. The fact that they do 50 damage a hit, that's just significant. Come on. Now then, what's going on? This just takes up so much space. Alright, let's sort of that out. Here we go. 16.3 treasure. Boom. That's a nice looking chest. Now we're talking about all the mythical stuff. Which I'm just not going to be able to use yet. Masterwork cloth shirt. Still crappier than what I've got. Don't care so much about the fur. Another masterwork shipyard. Journeyman metal hatchet, but I've got better. And some more swords and a shield. Okay. Well, it's definitely good loot. It's just loot that I'm going to be a long way off using. Alright. Jump on a bear. We've got to get these guys back onto the boat. Ooh, you can't carry all that. I'm going to have to get them to follow me back to the boat. Uh, and then, yeah, we're off to J1 to do a quality 20 treasure and see how these guys handle. Alright, catch you when I'm over there. Well, I'm over at the place now. If we have a look at the map, I'm fairly certain both of my maps are for the exact same treasure. So I'm going to have to make sure I put one of these maps away before we go and do this treasure because we'll get a double up of the damned and that'll be nasty. Alright, so I've given myself the best possible chance of success here and as it turns out I had two treasure maps for J1 and they're actually both for this exact location and so it's going to be an interesting task. So put that on mostly centered on these guys. Put them all on neutral. That should be all good. And here we go. A level 20, quality 20 treasure. 
A level 99. Alright. They're all warriors. One down. Oh, lovely. Last one to go down. <laughs> Didn't even have to participate. Mind you, they're bouncing that one so hard it's not funny. Right. Quality 20 treasure, huh? Let's give it a go and see what we get. Oh, nice big red chest. Have a look at it. Oh, similar to the last one. Let's have a look. Oh, you beauty. Oh, it's a blunderbuss. That's still nice, though. Jeez, look at that. Legendary cloth boots, although I'm not really going to use them. Uh, journeyman fur, lots of mythic, tons of gold. And then all the mythic hide, the masterwork hide boots that'll go well with the, the nice um, gloves that I found earlier. Masterwork hide shirt, so we got some nice armor now, just straight up instead of the blueprints. That's really good. But we've got a legendary large wood ship deck, which is fantastic. Medium gun port, but only one. Do we, we don't have any blueprints for that. I do have some blueprints elsewhere for that, but that's the main thing that I'm going to be looking for, right? I need the planks for the large. I'm going to need uh, the the actual wood gun ports and as well as the wood um, walls. And I probably need to go and kill some more ships of the damned and start looking for some blueprints for the sails as well. But all in all, that's a beautiful set of loot. Oh, and I'm overweight. So let's weigh down this bear. And what we can actually do now, just because... Chuck that in my inventory. Here they come. Army of Bears. The other thing, while uh, I think of it, I'm going to have to go searching for some treasure maps. See if I can find a legendary treasure map. I did in my last playthrough when I never got around to actually doing it. That's a double journeyman treasure. And the bear army is looking pretty solid. Alright, I won't be able to move very much at all. Alright, well, I've got to get these guys back on the ship. The ship's going to be so overloaded it's not funny. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to go searching for some more uh, map pieces while I think of it. As the sun sets here on my face, maybe I'll go that way a little bit better. So, yes, thank you for watching Scarving in the Atlas. It's been fun breeding up these bears and just doing some stupid treasure hunting. Uh, and, yeah, at this stage, I now need to go and find the rest of my materials. I need six of all the types of materials. Well, at least the stuff for making ships and weapons. And once I've got that in hand, uh, I wouldn't mind a legendary treasure if I can find one, but, you know, it depends on whether I find one. And then, really, it's going to be setting up to go into some Mythos. We'll go to some of the Power Stone Islands and see what we can kill and the Mythos to be had, and start looking at some of the mythical gear. Should be good. But, there's always uh, a lot to do in this game, and, you know, with all the sailing involved, it takes a long time to get anywhere. Alright, thanks for watching once again, and I'll see you in the next one.